Ever wondered how to create a great company profile in PowerPoint? A company profile PowerPoint presentation template can be the perfect tool for telling your organization's story. Hi, I'm Daisy Ein, and I'm a designer and developer. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to quickly make a professional presentation with a company profile PowerPoint template. Company profile presentations serve many purposes, and a template can help you reach those professional goals quickly and efficiently. Before we take a look at PowerPoint together, remember to check out Envato Elements. It's an amazing resource for templates, fonts, stock photos, and so much more. When you're a busy professional, having a resource like Envato Elements in your toolkit can help save both time and resources. For example, choose from thousands of PowerPoint templates, download some stock illustrations, and even audio. Download everything you need for your project for one low price. It's all included. Check out the description for more info. So what is the purpose of a company profile PowerPoint presentation? Well, perhaps you need to introduce your business for fundraising purposes, or maybe you're hiring new employees or sharing your business vision with a potential new addition. Sometimes these types of presentations can be used in sales situations too, where you might need to pitch or explain products and services that your organization offers. That said, let's explore how to create a great company profile in PowerPoint and take a look at how easy it is to create a presentation like this with a PowerPoint template design. Here's the company profile PowerPoint template that I'm going to use in this demonstration. It's got a lot of content, so let's start out by looking at all of the slides included. From the View tab, go to the Slide Sorter. Here we get an overview of all the slides included. This template includes a lot, and you might not need them all. Decide which slides you'd like to use in your presentation. For example, I don't think I'll need this slide, so I'll select it and then tap Delete on my keyboard to remove it. I can also select slides and then click and drag to rearrange their order. Check it out. I'll move this slide to a new position in my presentation by clicking on it and then dragging it over here. Once you're ready to start editing, click Normal here in the View tab to change your view back to the standard view. Let's start off by editing our cover slide. There's template text already here for us. I'll just double click on the title here, and then I can edit this text. In this case, you'd likely insert the name of your business or organization. Customizing text is an essential part of working in PowerPoint. Working with a template like this one takes a lot of the guesswork out for you. So for example, let's test out another slide. This timeline is already designed for us. All we have to do is click on the text box to make it active, and then we can edit the contents. Editing this text is very similar to standard word processing software. I can select it, edit it, and type whatever I would like. Let's take a look at adding images to our PowerPoint template too. This template has easy to use placeholders. There are many different ways to use images in PowerPoint. We could, for example, click the icon here to add a picture. However, we can do something even easier. I'll just drag a photo from my computer right here to this placeholder. Check it out, it's as simple as that. Next, how about changing up some of the shape colors? PowerPoint makes this easy. I'll just select a shape, and then make sure I'm in the Shape Format menu. Turn to the Shape Fill dropdown, and then we can choose any color we like. The same applies to other placeholder content, like charts and other graphics. You could plug in your own data here for this chart, for example, or try this out with some other colors. We could try this part of this data in orange, for example, by changing up the fill in the Format Data Series box over here on the right. You might also want to swap out some of the icons in this presentation, and this template makes that simple. Here at the end of the presentation, there's a whole library of icons we can use. I'll just click on one to select it, then go to Edit, Copy. Then I can choose any icon in my PowerPoint template. I'll just click to select it and then press Delete on my keyboard to remove it. Then Edit, Paste to paste my new icon that I copied earlier. I can click and drag to reposition it like this. And then I can easily change the fill color to white in my Format Shape panel. Now that we've dug into the basics of customizing a company profile PowerPoint presentation, here are some helpful tips as you work. Showcase your work. Templates like this one have plenty of space to showcase what your organization does and what makes it special. 
In this slide, for example, we can add a screenshot to the template, then customize the text and the icons to help describe your work to the audience. Here's the CEO intro slide in this PowerPoint template, another great one to include. Again, we can double click on this picture icon to add in a photo. Consider adding a friendly greeting or something personable here. It's also a great idea to highlight your services. Explain what you do in a clear and easy to understand way. This slide right here could be a great choice for that. Remember, editing the text content is as simple as double clicking to go inside the text box. So what kind of slides would be perfect for your business's company profile PowerPoint template? There's plenty more to see on Envato Tuts Plus and on Envato Elements too. So remember to check out the links in the description and the written version of this walkthrough too. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. You can also click on the notification bell so you never miss an update. I'm Daisy Ein, thanks so much for watching and good luck with your next design project.